Morning, good afternoon, good evening guys. Welcome to Otaku Chris is Talking. This is your weekly Dragon Ball Super anime review. Now, this is for episode 80 and I know um, I haven't really been up to date with the Dragon Ball Super reviews just because once again, if you check out my other video, you would have noticed that I actually made an explanation as to my laptop being fucked up and all this kind of bullshit, but we don't have time for this. Let's just talk about the episode. Well, episode 80 was pretty hype. Uh, before I go into actually Gohan and what he did, just because um, I don't have any notes with me, I'm just gonna start with this. What the fuck? So universe 1, 12, 5 and 8 are exempt from entering a tournament because their power levels are over 7. So the numbers are between like 1 to 10 most probably. And over 7, I don't know why, but it means that they can't enter the tournament. Also meaning that they won't be destroyed, which means that the real purpose of this actual tournament, as explained in this episode, was to actually weed out the weaker universes because Zeno Summer has been saying that there are too many universes. What the actual fuck? So in a kind of way, does this mean that Zeno Summer's been omniscient from knowing that this was going to happen? So Goku's not really the bad guy? I don't know, what are your thoughts on this? Let me know down in the comment box down below because I'd love to know what you guys are thinking because fuck me, this was a mad episode. Now onto Gohan versus Lavender. Uh, I'm happy with how it was. The, res the, re the resolution, the resolution, the conclusion, fuck's sake. The conclusion was actually a lot nicer than I expected um, because I didn't really want him to win, not because I didn't want him to win, so you Gohan fanboys don't hate on me, but basically it's because he hasn't trained that much. So it's kind of like, why would he be able to defeat someone who's actually a warrior who the way it seems that like they've been training for a while why would he be a gohan who just been picked literally a couple days ago to join a tournament why would he be strong enough to do this but i like that the episode actually spoke about this and actually showed well goku actually mentioned all right he hasn't trained so the sheer fact that one they can't sense the enemy's keys it can't sense lavender's key is actually like is good for Gohan's training because then he can figure out how to like en enhance his senses and stuff. This is also kind of what Goku was doing in the past few episodes, but um, I guess this is more forced as it was during the fight. And two, because he was blinded, that's even more of a chance of Gohan's senses being heightened. Obviously, Gohan then used the Super Saiyan transformation to then boost his senses, which allowed him to figure it out. Um, obviously, at first, it was more the movement of just hearing, really. So. I wasn't really surprised that Gohan could hear where they were coming from. So when there was the footsteps, I was like, okay, um, we were taking footsteps. I know a few people from other animes could actually figure out where you are just by footsteps or how the wind is moving. But I liked how at one point we got to see that it wasn't even the footsteps. It was also as he went close to Gohan, just the just the movement of of his of the area. He was able to notice where Lavender was. So that was really good. On Gohan's behalf, I really think he did well. He pushed through. He showed us why he's like. He, he's loved and the more of a pinch he's put in the stronger he gets and this is something that we what he was told about gohan way back in the dragon ball z days way back when gohan was a kid so i love that we've used this and that he never that he wasn't too too op in this episode as i'd like to see his training and to see how he developed in the actual universe itself lavender he was okay he didn't really do too much um i was kind of wondering how he was able to tank some of Gohan's hits as he was in Super Saiyan considering that Gohan Super Saiyan or regular was able to hit him and then Gohan Super Saiyan was also able to hit him and it didn't look like the effect affected him that much more but hey I did like his poison ability it's interesting to see like uh, well, it, was, it was interesting to see how Gohan was going to fight against that even the blasts were poison but they were managed to counter attack Gohan's Kamehameha's and stuff like that so that's pretty cool um, overall, the animation looks pretty nice. The art was okay. Um, so at some points, I was kind of like, Wiz looks kind of different, but hey, I st I'm still loving the glossiness of this series, of, of this arc itself, because you know, um, each of the arcs, it's been changing with the art and animation and stuff, but this is one of my personal favorites, because this, especially whenever we focus on the gods, oh my god. All right, so yeah, so this fight was pretty cool. Um, myself, I'll give this fight like, was it better than Boo's fight? Yeah, I guess it was better than Boo's fight, just because of the beginning was a bit slow with boost fight in the last episode but overall I, I just the feels were a bit nicer in this one especially as gohan got to develop as well i also like that gohan never took the senzu bean he wanted to see how strong he'd be without having any aid also because we find out in this episode that universe 7 and 9 are the weakest does this mean that the reason why they were allowed to use all these drugs and enhancing things is because they need it like how, how fucked would you be? How pissed off would you be if you find out that you're in a universe tournament and you're 
the second lowest ranking. Goku out there, who thinks he's all the best, he thinks he's the he's the shit out there, he wants to fight all the strongest opponents, now finds out that he's actually the second lowest universe. I love Beerus's um, expression on his face when he finds out that he's gonna die as well. I uh, love how Wiz, <laughs> how Wiz was so smug when Wiz find out that the angels won't die. That was also pretty, uh, pretty amazing as well. And also Vados as well. The way Vados was like, oh, was pretty chill. This is really good. I love how they managed to balance the seriousness plus the humor plus the, the art style, the animation. Once again, beautiful. Dragon Ball Super episode 80 is killing it. I can't wait for next week's episode. In the um, in the preview, I know some people don't worry about the preview, so I'm going to talk about the preview for a hot sec. We get to see that... Um, Goku, the person Goku's fighting, the third person, Dramon, Gramosh, or whatever, that guy, it seems like he can go super big. I don't know if that's going to help him, whether growing big makes him stronger, but hey, who knows? So, or whether his, oh, fucking pigeons everywhere, or whether his general size doesn't, I want to know whether him getting bigger gets stronger or whether it doesn't get stronger. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Um, I would like to see more of the opinions of the other gods and the other universes. I was expecting more of an uproar when I find out that the universe has been destroyed. Um, I did like to, that one of the the guy in the cloak uh, when he when he saw Gohan go Super Saiyan, he was like, "Ah, oh, another universe that could also increase the power levels." That so that shows a, a, a bit of promise. That might be why four of the universes didn't really give a fuck, but. It's interesting to see who of the four universes are what. I'm probably going to do, if I can, one day, probably on my friend's laptop or computer, a breakdown of the four universes that are exempt and who their gods are and probably why they're exempt. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I know it's a bit of a rush. Just I'm, on, I'm on my lunch break at work. And um, yeah, do subscribe. Feel free to drain in. Leave your comments down in the comment box down below and your opinions and your thoughts on this fight. Do you think Gohan deserved to win? Do you think Gohan technically took an L? Or do you think Gohan was supposed to lose? Hope you guys enjoyed this. Do subscribe, turn on that notification for next week's Dragon Ball Super Review. Otaku Chris is talking. Peace.